Well, good morning and welcome to life after Disney. <laughs> Taking you guys along for our day after vacation. The girls are up. Um, Bella did not sleep well at all last night. I don't know what in the world. Like she slept, uh, she was up a couple times the first night of vacation, but then every night after that she slept great. And I don't know what happened, but last night she was up so many times. Um, so I actually, Dean took some of those shifts because he was like, you've been with her all week. And so it was so sweet. And then I got my microwave going. It's the girl's oatmeal for the breakfast, but I'm like, now you sleep. So we're kind of like taking turns, like tagging in and out for it. Um, but I'm making the girls some breakfast. So we're just right back at a normal mom life. So let's jump into all the things because I've got to unpack. I have so much laundry to do. I didn't get to do any of it on the trip. Um, and I, that's not normally me. Usually I come home with clean clothes, not a suitcase full of dirty clothes. So we gotta do that. I wanna get unpacked. I've gotta offload footage. Like we got a lot to do today. I've gotta restock this fridge. So let's just get into it. Okay, so breakfast has been had. Dean got up and he made us some eggs in a basket, egg in a hole, whatever you wanna call those things. Um, I've heard so many people call them so many different things and I'm, I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, so whatever you call them. We ate eggs and toast, and so we had that, and then I need to get a shower, get out of yesterday's makeup. Um, so when you see me again, I will not be in pajamas. I will be fully gloved and actually ready for the day. Um, so I'm like, I'm like, we're gonna get dressed, we're gonna get a shower, we're gonna feel good so we can hit the ground running and get this stuff done, because I have a lot I need to cover today. Well, that feels better, being clean, and got my new shirt on. I got this at Disney. I got an, I actually got two t-shirts this time. I wish I would have gotten the extra small. This is the small, but I have a lot, like quite a bit of room. I could have went with the extra small, but I was worried it would shrink. So, you know, you never know. And so I went with this one, but it was my light purple and we've got like people mover on it. So, I mean, I kind of had to, it was like a requirement that I buy this t-shirt. I mean, at least in my head, that's how it went. Um, but I feel good. It's nice to be clean. Like, I don't know, something about just getting a shower. I've got my mom uniform on. <laughs> so I am ready to get some stuff done. I need to do my skincare and obviously my hair is not staying like this. This is just in my drying scrunchie. Um, it, it needs to be done. So let's do some of that. And then I had to ask you guys if you guys had any questions about our trip. So I'm going to sprinkle those in throughout today's video. So it's part Q and A, it's part unpack with me. It's part what our day looks like after vacation. Um, so we're just kind of continuing the story of what do you do when you get back? So you go on this wonderful vacation and then back to normal life. So this is what life after Disney looks like, at least for us today. Holy moly, you guys ask a lot of questions this time. Um, I am not going to get through all of these, so I apologize to those of you that I missed your questions. Uh, but I think some of them also um, overlapping. Some of them may be overlapping, so hopefully that helps. <laughs> okay, starting with the first one, and I love this question. It was like, I feel like it's such a good question is what are your rose and thorn from this trip? Um, okay, so I'm gonna be doing my skincare while I'm doing this. So toner, so I will like show you because I know I'll get questions. What did you use? So I'm just gonna show you, that's my toner. Um, okay, but rose and thorn from this trip. Whoa, what just happened? <laughs> my lid came apart, that's so weird. Okay, there we go. Um, would probably be taking pictures with the girls in front of the castle in the rain. That was just, it was the silliest little thing, but we just had so much fun. It wasn't raining super hard or anything, but I just put, I did my timer photo in the stroller cup holder trick. Um, and we just, we took some pictures and little videos and it was just the most fun little experience. Um, so that was my favorite part. And then my thorn from the trip, and, and this is, this may be weird and may not make sense to some people. Um, my thorn was feeling like, and I know my kids come first, 100% my kids and watching them and taking care of them and like making sure they're happy and doing things and making memories with them comes first. But on the content creator side, 
I feel like I may have like dropped the ball and failed a little bit as much there and by the time you see this video I think you'll have seen all the vlogs but right now I've not all flooded footage I've not seen anything and I'm like I feel like these vlogs are gonna be really short and I'm like talking six to eight minutes short and I'm I'm really worried I'm hoping I'm like overthinking all this in my head and I'm like freaking out for no reason but I'm that part that's my thorn is I'm like man I feel like I did so much I've, I juggled so much better on other trips and it's not that they were tougher to deal with or anything like that it just I don't know I can't put my finger on it it I don't know I just feel like and I got everything done with with the exception of my stroller video I was going to do that and I literally I had a checklist of all the things I needed to film and b-roll I needed to get and all this stuff for other videos uh, even post trip and um, when it came time I had un I, I somehow missed that checkbox of filming that video um, I took a thumbnail photo for it but I, I missed filming the video how I did that I don't know um, so that was a little a little frustrating and I didn't realize it until I took all the gear off the stroller the night before we left and I was like oh yeah I was gonna film that video so here we are um, so no updated stroller video this time so I'm sorry for those of you that were excited about that yeah not happening but those are my two um, thorns I mean yeah obviously the kids had moments and it was tough at times and um, Bella wasn't thrilled on the bus a couple of times and we just we had a couple of different moments where it was like okay we're dealing with it but I'm like you know what it's it's no worse than what I deal with at home so we just we took a break we dealt with whatever big feelings we were having and then we moved on it just went well so like it for the most part they did really good um, so I'm I'm grateful for that uh, the lotion I just put on it's actually a night cream but I am not putting on makeup today I feel so dry so I'm like slathering on off like my like thick stuff like this <laughs> so that's why we're doing that um, let's see is the magic still the same with it being cold do you have more or less fun bundle up it was actually really fun I didn't expect that to be so much fun when with being chillier but it was nice because you could actually wear your like Disney sweatshirt and you weren't sweating it <laughs> so that was nice um, we did have to put on our jackets but again it didn't our stuff was like pretty lightweight. It's not like we were walking around in this big thick marshmallow parka. <laughs> um, it was pretty lightweight, so it was comfortable, and we had we had a good time. And then that is my new lash. The last question before we move on is, how long were you gone? And we were gone for four nights, five days, um, and we had a. It was great. It, I felt like it was the perfect length. I, it could have been slightly longer, but I wouldn't want have wanted it to be any shorter considering our arrival day. We got in so incredibly late. It was like well after midnight before we got in bed. And then our departure day, um, we got picked up from our hotel at about 1130. So we really only had like three days at Disney. Um, so in a perfect world, it would have looked a little bit different. But with like the budget and pri like pricing and everything, I got that trip was super cheap. Um, so yeah, that was, we've scheduled it the way we did in favor of budget over being able to be the most convenient thing on the planet. Hair is dry, that feels good. I've moved into my bedroom now. I'm gonna make the bed and then answer a couple more questions. Now piggybacking off of the how long were you gone question, I actually structured our trip from Monday to Friday. So we went down on, flew down on Monday was our departure day and we came back on a Friday. And I did that because that way my husband's going to work. Dean was at work all day, most of those days. He had a couple snow days if you watched our 24 hours before vacation travel day vlog, you saw we had a lot of random snow. So he actually ended up being out of work on Monday and Tuesday, but had the weather been fine and it been a normal day, 
he would have been in work Monday through Friday. And then he was just able to leave an hour early from work and then come pick us up at the airport on Friday. And now we have all day today, which is Saturday and Sunday together as a family to relax and recoup. And so that was really, really nice um, to be able to kind of have that buffer in between jumping back into normal home routine and also time as a family. And that way, if you're worried about, well, I don't wanna take my kids away from my husband or whatever, then you can kind of have the best of both worlds. You get that family weekend time, which our family absolutely loves getting to spend time together and do things because the evening time is so short. If you have a spouse that works, when they get home, it's like five or so o'clock and the kids go to bed seven or eight usually, or at least that's when my kids go to bed. And so my husband doesn't get a lot of time with them. So I didn't want to take a ton of that away from him. So that way, every kind of worked out best of both worlds we were just gone during the week so that's a very long-winded way of saying we were gone monday through friday next question is did you ever use your swimsuits or wish you had them the day that we arrived it got a little bit warmer but the very next day it was chilly once again and just wasn't good enough pool weather the pools at disney are heated to i believe it's 82 degrees um year round even during the summer they're constantly a steady 82 but i don't know about you guys but getting in and out of the pool and it just i don't know it I didn't feel like dealing with that. We really didn't miss our swimsuits. Have you ever gone to Universal or would you consider it? Um, we have gone to Universal pre-kids, but it just really doesn't appeal to us as much. We're not big Harry Potter fans. Um, I don't know. We just, it really doesn't have a big draw for us. Uh, maybe at some point we'll go, but right now we're just not. <laughs> How do you keep your girls so calm in their airplane seats? My two-year-old son has no chill. <laughs> Okay, um, having a couple of different activities. We take the tablets, like we do the thing, all the things. And also the big kicker is letting them get those wiggles out before you get on the plane. So if you are just in the airport, don't just be sitting there at the gate, like walk around, move, let them play. If the airport you're at has a playground, take them to the playground. Like do all the things that you can to let them move and just get that energy out. That way it's not bottled up on an airplane seat. So if you've kind of let them move a little bit, they've got those wiggles out. I find that that really, really helps. We just let the girls push the suitcases up and down the walkway. Like we just, we do all kinds of things to get that energy out as much as possible. Um, and so it, if you want them to sit still on the plane, let them move in the airport. Okay, two more questions and then I need to move on with doing something else and we'll answer some more questions then. But for now is favorite solo mom and kids activities. Um, honestly, there's so much to do at Disney. I, at that point, you just kind of revert back to, especially if you have kids at different height requirements, you kind of revert back to, okay, what can we all do as a family? What can, what can babies do? And we just, we try to do different things like that. Um, it, I don't know, it's as far as favorites, we obviously have our favorite rides and we always do People Mover or we do um, Toy Story Mania, we do different things that those are like our go-to favorites that everyone can do so it really works out great. Um, but those are some of our favorites. Uh, let's see. Another thing was having playtime. Like the girls and I, we have been watching Bluey lately. If you're a Bluey family, you're gonna get this reference. But we were hanging out on the hub grass and Lucy was like, let's play toilet tag. So we literally, if you know Bluey, you know what I'm talking about. You have to go watch that episode. Um, it's in season three towards the end. But we played toilet tag on the hub grass and it's like, it's the silliest thing. And I mean, yeah, we could have done that here at the house or in another park, but it was just, it was so fun getting to just sit on the hub grass and then run around and play and it, it was wonderful. So it's just the most random little things that you'll find that was like, wow, that's, that's amazing. So whatever you think would be happy and cool for you and your kids, just know going into it the biggest piece of solo mom travel advice especially with multiple kids is know that things are going to be slower because you're having to do all the things you don't have like another set of hands that you can say hey can you put this one's shoes on i need to brush my teeth like you don't have help to do any of that stuff so that's just one thing to note is everything will be slower but it is still like super magical the last question and then i got to go I need to clean out my fridge. I need to see what I need and make a grocery list. But this last question is what stroller were you using on this trip? So we were using our Juvie RS2. Um, that's the one we've, we use. That's my 
as far as Disney stroller, I go towards that one if I'm only like on a bus and stuff. If I have a Skyliner resort, then we will take our Upper Baby Vista. But for being on a non Skyliner resort, we were at All Star Movies, and so it was nothing but buses. That worked out perfectly. Grocery list has been made. I figured out what we needed, cleaned out the fridge, so that was good. Got all the old food. Does anyone else like buy things? I bought this kale for this delicious kale salad that my a friend of mine made, and it was so good. Like it, I don't like. I'm not a big kale person. I have tried it so many times. I'm like, it just tastes so bitter. I just don't enjoy it. I enjoy other salads, but I don't like that one. But the way she made it was just mouthwateringly good but that salad has wilted in my refrigerator because i just didn't have time to make it um so maybe i can i don't know i want to get some more kale i have the other ingredients i have the oil and the garlic and all these other things i need kale and parmesan so that's on my list we'll see but that's not what i sat down here to talk about was kale salad um but if you're interested i will put like how it's made in the description box or maybe we'll make it later i don't know we'll see what we get into i'm not going to promise anything because i don't even know how today's going to go um next question is what is your ideal length trip when you take your girls alone um i would say five days is a pretty good range for me because it does give you time to like do some different things but then it's not too like I feel like there's such a balance between it being too long and too short to where you just spend a lot of time traveling, you know what I mean? Because you have all the time of like getting to the airport and the flight and then getting from the hotel or from the airport to the hotel and it just that's just a lot of I don't know, back and forth to me. Like I wouldn't I don't know that I would do like a a two night trip with just the girls by myself. I don't know. I I say that now and I might do one. Who knows? But it's one of those I don't know that it's, I, I feel like ideally, I would say um, either four or five nights, just so you have time to do things because you will be going at a slower pace. So I feel like that's a good one. Um, let's see, how do you deal with varying wants interest when you're solo? Um, so this is one of those things you have to prep your kids. You have to talk to them and help them to understand about um, especially like height requirements because I have Lucy who is 41 inches. She can go on Slinky Dog. She can go on Rise of the Resistance. She can go on um, Big Thunder Mountain and she can go on Mind Train, like all these different things that her little sister Bella can't do because she's like 35 inches. So we kind of had that talk leading up to the trip saying, hey, we won't be able to do these. I know they're your favorite rides, but we won't be able to do them because Sissy's not tall enough. And so just kind of talking through those things and also having a balance of letting each person in your party pick. 
Um, so for me, I pick an attraction, I let each one of them pick an attraction and we all do our thing. And it's like, hey, if they're starting to get a little fussy of like, hey, this isn't what I wanted to do, be like, hey, we're doing your sister's ride right now, but yours is next. We have to be patient and we have to be happy for sister because she's having a really good time. Um, and also pick something for yourself. Like for me, thankfully my girls love the same ride that I do. But even if they didn't, it'd be like, we're going on People Mover, ladies. I, mommy wants to go and make a loop around the People Mover and then we can do whatever else you want to. Thankfully they love it, but it's one of those, even pick something for yourself that you enjoy. Now, you're not gonna get a spa day in the middle of this vacation. Like, that's just not gonna happen unless you're like hiring a nanny or something. But do try to sprinkle in some little things for yourself as you can. What makes you most intimidated on a solo trip? Honestly, the whole um, like bus situation, transportation to and from the parks, it's the biggest thing that most people I get asked, like, what are you, like, how do you handle that? That sounds so scary. Um, and that's, that is the hardest part for the most part when they're in good moods and everything's going great, it's fine. But when they're not in good moods or they're extra whiny or you read the situation wrong, you read the room wrong and they were way more tired than they were like acting like they were and then they get whiny and like really crying, then that part is hard. But for the most part, if they're in good moods, it's not bad. So, and then the other part that intimidates me or the scariest part for me I feel like the first time was the flight down there um, we've been to Disney enough before kids and even now with the girls that I know how to get around there so there's a certain comfort level with navigating the parks but the unknown was being at the airport and even though we've flown it just felt different um, and one thing that intimidates me would be to drive I got questions from people even down there random strangers they're like oh did you did you fly with them or did you drive with them I was like no we, we flew um, that's just where my comfort level is it's about 12 hours for us with a couple of stops here down there but as a solo mom and I know people do this all the time and so like my my comfort level just isn't where other people's are but I would I don't think I would put my kids in the car and drive especially not at their ages right now maybe once they're older but between potty breaks and diaper changes and stopping for things and food and gas and I don't know if you had car trouble I'm like I don't know that just makes me nervous so that that part would intimidate me as well um, if we were closer like two hours or something or maybe even four hours it'd be like oh that's not bad we can we can handle that like it's, it's not super far if we got in a pickle family could be there or something we we have we could call in the cavalry we could have backup uh what new things did you try are you going to try more new in the future or go back to old faves so we had one day and i think by the time you've seen this we you've by the time this vlog goes live you'll have seen it but we did kind of a topsy turvy day like we did everything different at magic kingdom and it was actually pretty fun um i don't know like my kids aren't going to be begging to go on Haunted Mansion <laughs> like most people's kids, but they actually tolerated it pretty well. Um, and Bella was like, after she was like, the ghost is tickling my belly. And like, what in the world? It was weird. It was so silly. Uh, but she was being funny. Um, we tried Tortuga Tavern. I mean, I might get like some spring rolls and go over there and get the girls a hot dog, but I don't think that's going to be in the heavy rotation for us. Uh, but it was nice that it was not crowded at all. So it's one of those, it's right across from Pirates. And I was telling Dean about it and he's like, I didn't even know there was like a restaurant there. He's like, I never paid attention to it when we walked by to even know it was a quick service. Um, so that was interesting, but yeah. Uh, but we'll, I'm sure we'll be back to some old favorites next time. How do you do it traveling with two littles? I have a one year old and I'm afraid to take her out alone. A lot of practice, honestly, just, and that was one of the things that I had seen other moms talk about is as soon as you have your baby, is once you get comfortable with taking them out, I know there's like, we don't wanna take them out too much till they're like six weeks old or three months old or there's like a whole lot of opinions. So whatever you find is comfortable and right for your family. There's no one size fits all for anything in life, motherhood included and it's like motherhood especially. But um, when it comes to that is once my girls were born and they were little, I just, I would practice getting out of the house even if it was for 30 minutes to run to Target and grab something I needed. 
I would just practice and just get comfortable more and more and taking them out longer and longer each time. So that is my biggest recommendation is practice at home. Um, it sounds so scary and especially if like you do it once and it just really doesn't go well, it can be terrifying to want to try again. And honestly, it's just keep trying because every time you're going to be more confident as a mom, they're going to get more comfortable being out and about as a kid. And then you're both going to just learn how to navigate this together. And it's, it's a journey and it's, sometimes it's bumpy, but you just have to push through it. Um, because I mean, for me sitting at home, I cannot just sit at home. So that was just, that was never an option of just not getting out and not going anywhere because I had kids and I'm like, I, I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to get cabin fever. Like I can't, I need it for my mental health. I need to get out. I need to see the sunshine. I need to see other people. I need to see something besides these four walls. So if that's you, I just encourage you to just try, throw some snacks, plenty of diapers, some little activities or whatever in the in that ba diaper bag and just get out of the house. Just, just slowly practice and just work it out because it's just like a muscle, you can do it. Uh, how were the crowds? They were, it was honestly busier than I expected. I feel like January crowd levels are way overhyped. Like, yes, they are lower. They're not um, holiday crowds, but I found them to be almost as busy as some of the slow middle season in summer, like on the days we were there. Um, things were backed up and busy and the lines were extremely long. Um, we used Genie Plus for almost every ride that we went on other than anything maybe we rope dropped, but it was, I, f I feel like it's very overhyped. Um, I would prefer to go in September and be sweating and hot because then I can get in the pool and do all that stuff. The whole being cold, if I had to pick like a budget friendly time, this is totally unpopular opinion because people are like, but it's hurricane season and you're sweating. And I'm like, I would rather be hot than cold. That's just me. I'm like, I can drink some water. I can use my misting fan and I'm going to be good. When you're cold, it's like, I can't put on enough layers <laughs> to get me warm. Do you always have the same driver with MCO to Disney? I have a different driver most times. Um, I've experienced a bunch of different drivers and they've all been lovely. I mean, obviously I have my favorites. My personal favorite is his name is Umberto. And so if you are using them, you can ask for a preferred driver. You can put it in the notes sec section. You can request a driver. Um, but I mean, all of them have been lovely and quite helpful. Um, they take taken good care of us. So it just, they all vary. Um, do the girls, mainly Lucy, help plan out the day now that they are a bit older? Uh, yes, they definitely do. Um, she helps me a little bit more than Bella, but even Bella, will tell me what she wants to do. Um, she'll be like, I want to ride the carousel. And they're, they're both starting to get an opinion. Um, and maybe more so than normal kids, just because we do go a lot, but they definitely have an opinion of, I want to go meet Ariel and I would like to do this, or I would like to do that. And so we kind of, we have a talk about how the day is going to go before. Now, obviously because they're little kids, sometimes in the moment that plan changes where two weeks before they're wanting to meet Ariel in the moment, they want to go meet Mirabelle or they want to go meet Rapunzel. So you may have to kind of alter that plan just a little bit, but for the most part, it stays pretty much the same. Um, and it also gets them excited getting to talk about it. So, uh, last question. And then I've got to go get some groceries is, do you recommend a stroller bag when gate checking to protect it? Um, you can do that. Most of the time I don't, um, I just, you can even a bag, like it's not going to pr necessarily protect it because most of them aren't padded. They're just thin bags. It's just going to keep the pieces together if something falls off, honestly. Um, so I just, I don't use that and especially traveling solo it's more of a headache than it is a help of like trying to like scramble and trying to get it into that big stroller into a bag because you have a double when like for me traveling with two kids it's just a lot so i just fold it down and i'll see you on the other side good luck <laughs> and hope for the best thankfully we've been <laughs> we're doing a frozen thing along in the other room um so far so good though but let's go get some groceries and then we'll see if we can answer some more questions because you guys ask a lot. For anyone curious why we're not taking my car, well, this is why. 
Our driveway is covered in ice. And she's a big girl. She does not like ice. She is a pretty princess. Since we're having to wait on the car to warm up, I thought I would answer, <laughs> answer a couple more questions. Um, next one is, what if my stroller doesn't fit through the belt scanner? Um, so mine never fits through the belt scanner. Um, our Vista never did, and then the, um, not unless we like took the wheels and dismantled it, and so this may or may not be right, but I'm just like, it doesn't fit, so if we're taking just the Vista, and then a lot of times now that it's in double mode, and our side-by-side -side stroller, none of those fit through the, the scanners at the airport. Um, so they just hand pat them down, pat down the stroller. They take it while we go through the, like we walk through ourselves, me and the girls, and they pat it down, they wand it and do the whole thing, kind of like they do for you if they have to like do extra searching of you. Um, they just don't do the cavity check, <laughs> but, <laughs> but um, if that is happening, then they just check it and then give it right back. So it's no big deal. Why did you choose the side-by-side -side stroller versus the Vista? I'm so torn. <laughs> um, honestly, because I wasn't staying at a Skyliner resort. It's it's one piece, so and it's also slightly less heavy than the other one is. And I'm gonna share, um, I filmed a reel about this. I had filmed some footage for my stroller video that I didn't film. But um, I do have a reel that I'm gonna be making about that and I have a strap that I've able to been able to attach to the stroller, which made it so much easier to pick it up and carry. So it was awesome. Tips for early morning wake ups routines on vacation for littles. Uh, prep as much as you can the night before when they're, my girls are big enough, I watch them, they're in the bath, but I'm like also, our clothes are there nearby and so I'm like setting up, laying things out on the counters. I am prepping to the nth degree, just like you would of prepping your kid for the next morning for school. You're laying out the clothes, you're getting the lunch ready, you're doing all the things. Go ahead, reset that diaper bag, let them play and wind down. Down. Um, just let them have a little fun and you go ahead and prep as much as possible and that way you can quickly move through it and then in the morning I get myself up and ready first because for my girls they are once they get their shoes on and their clothes on they think we're ready to go so I wait and do them very absolute last so I have me and everything else ready to go and then I wake them up and get them dressed and we get going um, we aren't huge breakfast in the room people it just depends like sometimes they'll have like a little yogurt pouch or something or maybe maybe a banana but a lot of times we don't eat until we get to the park that's just kind of our my girls they can wait a little while it's not like bing, my eyes are open and I'm instantly hungry so that's just our situation um, but just have a routine whatever works for your family just find that um, and it can look similar to your routine at home and just kind of go through that normal thing because that's part of it too is keeping some sort of normalcy will also really help next question we're driving now so you may I hear a little bit of road noise we'll see how do you get the girls to not throw a fit if they don't have a phone or tablet to play with um, I'm just gonna give a disclaimer before I even say anything about any type of screen time is everybody has to find the balance that works best for their family I have some subscribers that are polar like no we don't touch a screen we don't look at a screen we just we don't do that um, and then you have others that Un unbridled screen time, they can do it as much as they want 24 seven. So wherever in that spectrum you fall, that's what's best for your family. And you have to find that level. Um, so for my girls personally, when we are at home, they don't do a lot of tablet time. We do learning. Um, Lucy has this learning uh, program that goes along with her books. Um, it's like a workbook and I forgot the name of it. Um, I will link the, the little preschool set down below, but you can literally get it off Amazon. Um, but it works with her tablet. So she does it for learning time. We will do it occasionally um, if we're gonna be out for long periods of time and we need something. Most of the time when they have tablet time or screen time, um, other than watching TV, we watch probably way too much TV. That's our that's our uh, kryptonite as we watch TV. Travel days are the main times that we do tablet time though. Um, and honestly, you can, I could probably count on two hands how many times I have let my children watch TV on my phone. Um, and I don't mean that to sound like 
because I don't want to say that and be like, oh, you're just like high and mighty or whatever, because that it's that it's not the way I want to come across. But I want to be honest with you guys, and that's just one thing that I've been like, no, I will let you have your tablet and we'll do screen time, but I'm not gonna get you used to the drug of me just whipping out my phone all the time to play with, um, because. I mean, it's just like sugar or red dye or any other addiction that your kids can get on. Is It's just, it can be such a default that, oh, well, I'm upset and I need a screen. And I feel like that can kind of sometimes take the place of learning how to regulate those emotions. And so we just try to work through it. So that's just, that's me being perfectly candid and honest about that. We just don't do that a lot. Um, as far as taking the tablets into the parks, I don't do that. We They can play with them on occasion when I'm getting ready at the resort and obviously on travel day, it's no holds. Um, but as far as like, I'm not taking them into the parks, we're not doing that sort of thing. I just have activities, whether we're at home or at Disney, I am more activity based. So that's why you will see me packing my diaper bag full of different things. And people are probably like, oh, well, you're such a maximalist. It's like, no, we're just, we have some activities that I have tried to have two or three that they can play with and do. Um, yeah, always have a toy of some sort, basically. Exactly. So um, I always feel so like uncomfortable talking about screen time because that is, it gets very controversial. Um, so also, just side note, please don't argue about this in my comment section. I don't, I don't want to argue with people, and I don't want people arguing back and forth. So let's play nice. Everybody has to find what's best for their family, and because I do it one way or someone else does it differently, that doesn't make anybody wrong. It's just what's best for our family. This, this right here, this is a Dean card. To my wife and Valentine, I went online to find directions. The most romantic place on earth. Open, please. Ugh, turns out it's any place next to you, Aww. baby. <laughs> We're out grocery shopping without our children. And here we are. We just spent like 15 minutes in the toy section. And here we are in the kids' books. I didn't find this book for Bella though. I thought that would be cool. So when we're doing like preschool with Lucy, she has something to do. So she can, it's like a wipe clean book so she can trace. Mm, that's cool. I mean, I thought that was neat. She could, huh. should totally be able to do that. It just makes her smarter. We're not in the kids' clothes section. We're not in the kids' clothes section. This is not what you think. Oh my god, it's Bill. They never have just bell. Do we need it? I mean, it's really cold outside. <laughs> You're not helping. I think the bluey one. I know, the bluey one's really cute. Always up for adventure. I like the Toy Story one. <laughs> no. That one's super cute. Just the blue is, or the pink is something besides Barbie. Not a big Barbie person. We gotta get out of here. Go, go, go. Look at these cute dresses. <laughs> Don't look at these cute dresses. Go, go. Aw. Nope, oh, we need to get out. Go, go, see, go. See, you're as big of a sucker go. as I am. <laughs> I am, I know. Wait, I see more cute new stuff. Hold on. Listen, if y'all have been skipping on Walmart for like Disney kids clothes, you need, you need to check it out. The sleepy time dresses. Sonic the Hedgehog, got a little Sonic tails and knuckles. Aww. Cute, cute, cute. Aww. It's so small, it's cute. <laughs> oh, look at that thing, it's so tiny. She's really almost out of this thing, just like size range. Yeah, she's growing pretty quick. She's getting so close, oh my gosh, look at this one. I love this print. Aww. That is precious. Adorable. 24 months is just almost too small for Bella now. <laughs> let's go get some food. Turn right and let's ride. <laughs> Aww. Oh, nope. No. Cocoa cinnamon rolls. Chocolate cinnamon rolls? Let's go. Why not? I know what we're having tomorrow. <laughs> you get it.
get some chips, gotta get some chips. Gotta get some chips, gotta get some chips. Okay, as if we need something even smaller to cover our kitchen floors or houses or cars or anything else with. They now make minis, really? Who asked for that? I want it, I'm not gonna lie, that looks amazing. <laughs> Dad's asked for that. We getting it done. Yum. Okay, that was a lot more than expected. Anyone else buy groceries and then immediately go buy fast food? <laughs> That's us, it is 12.04, we finally got out of Walmart, like we took a, a while. We also just kind of meandered and took our time too. We're gonna run by McDonald's, grab a 20 piece chicken nuggets and a basket of fries. And we're just gonna call it a day. That's just easy enough for lunch, and then I'm gonna make dinner at home, obviously. But we're, it's lunchtime, so I don't wanna have to go home and try to cook something. She's gonna delay nap time, quiet time, all that stuff. So I wanna try to get the girls back into their normal routine. Um, and that's one thing we try to like jump both feet back in as soon as possible. Um, just so that we can kind of acclimate them back and it just seems to work out better if we can just like jump straight into it. Okay, a couple more questions while we're driving home. Um, will you be doing any meal plans on future trips? I just, personally, I'm of the mindset the meal plan isn't worth it. Um, at least for us, we end up splitting meals. Disney portions are huge. There are a couple of restaurants where that's not the case, but for the most part, portion sizes are actually really big. Um, and it's more food that you can have. We like to snack throughout the day, so we will split a meal, and that way we don't have to do that. The girls will split kids' meals, because half the time they eat like birds, and it's like, okay, if we need more, we'll order another kids' meal kind of thing. Um, so that's just what works for us. If you want it to have that all-inclusive feel, then going with the meal plan is great and it's an easy way to do it. You just get to scan your band and whatever. But to me, it's it's just, you're spending, oh, you're overspending on food. I love this question. Favorite way to bring Gideon's home? Frozen, carry-on. Um, so I just pack them in my carry-on personal item bag um, and bring them on the airplane with me. And I've had no issues with it. Um, so that's always how I bring mine. I know some people, they will bring home a bunch and they'll freeze them. Mine don't make it to the freezer. <laughs> um, they're usually gone within like the first week that we're back. Um, that's just me. Probably not a great thing, but you know, it is what it is. Um, but I have heard they are really, really good when you bring them home and you freeze them. So, and that they actually freeze really well. So they taste good. They're not like wedding cake after a year and you like pull that thing out and it's nasty. We did that. We did do that. Ours was actually good, but I've heard so many people that they're like, no, that, that was garbage. We do like took one bite and spit it out. <laughs> okay, I'm sitting in front of our window. <laughs> I need to offload some footage now. So that's the next phase of all of this unpacking and getting back into life is offloading all of the different video clips and pictures and everything that's on the camera here, on actually this camera. Um, usually I do it daily, but with being solo and dealing with everything else and our days just felt so busy and trying to get all the content, my camera um, card was big enough and so I just left it all on there. So now I have a ton of footage to offload and categorize into what videos it's going into or B-roll or like whatever. Um, so I'm gonna sit here and do this. So you're gonna see a lot of just like a time lapse of me working on the computer at this point. Well, okay, I just finished editing the travel day vlog because today that I'm filming this. It is Saturday and that video is gonna go up on Monday. It was supposed to be my 24 hours before vacation, not exactly my travel day vlog, but you'll have seen it by now. It just kind of spiraled into this snow apocalypse that we had here in Tennessee. Well, a snow apocalypse for us. Um, those of you that actually get like feet of snow or like that's nothing, but for us in Tennessee, we were like, it was a lot for us. Um, and so all that 
it ended up being my travel day vlog. It did not go <laughs> at all. So next time I was gonna do like this whole room setup and like talk through a lot of tips and like I just I was very excited about the video I had planned but next time I'm just gonna push it to the next trip and be like okay well you know we're going again in a few months so we'll just share all the tips and tricks in that video so I got that done though um because I want to get it finished up so that it can be made live for members um tonight as soon as possible and then we'll start working through some of the rest of them um it's been so nice sitting here in the window it's so cold outside it is oh my gosh it's 19 outside um and so and our heating has been acting so weird um and with all the snow they've it's, it's, the company has not been able to come and service it so it's been a little it's been hard for the heating unit to keep up so we've been like wearing long sleeve sweaters and like bundling and stuff because it's not wanted to stay super warm so long story short it was just crazy um but we're we're making it we're doing good and yeah i need to go unpack i needed to have gotten some laundry started but i just i'm kind of avoiding it sometimes i'm like yeah we're gonna unpack we're gonna get everything undone and it's gonna be put away that's just not been the case today i've been like work 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 and then also needed to go get groceries and things um because some of the stores have been so bare and they haven't had a lot of stock around here lately so i also wanted to like get that done so it's just we're doing all the random things today i started this video and i was so optimistic that i was gonna get a ton done and i feel like i've not gotten as much done so it's i don't know i always feel like i end these like hot mess express so we'll see but i need to go downstairs i'm gonna make some chicken noodle soup for dinner something warm and cozy and then we'll see what else we get into maybe some more unpacking um might talk through some of the things like an unpack with me kind of portion and show like what we used i don't believe there was anything we didn't use actually surprisingly like that i feel like that's pretty good um to have used everything but yeah i don't know we'll see i don't need to be thinking about that right now we'll deal with that later With lots of crackers on top. Here, snap it. Snap, snap it. This. Where did my family go? <gasps> There's one of them. <laughs> I see them. Now where did Daddy go? Where did Daddy go? Hi. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect building weather. His nephews, Morty and Ferdy, joined him. What are you going to build, Uncle Mickey? Okay, as promised, I'm gonna do a little unpacking. I did have to bust into our suitcases for a couple of things, makeup, a couple of toiletries, things that you need as soon as you get home, my laptop, all that good stuff. But the, for the most part, we're still packed and it's Monday. So we've also time warped. <laughs> I spent the rest of Saturday evening um, at sitting on the couch, editing a video, watching a movie after dinner, and I didn't feel like that was very entertaining, so I just didn't film it. Um, but I didn't get, to, because of working on a video, I didn't get to unpack. So now we're unpacking. So let's dive into that. I'm gonna start out, I feel like we're just like back in the situation where we started, we're like, in here packing and now we're in here unpacking um but in lucy's little 18 inch suitcase which fits as a personal item um i had all of our dirty clothes so i did not get to do any laundry this time usually i do laundry while we're on vacation and i did not get to do that on this trip we were just so much busier and also being solo it was tough to get out of like i don't feel good leaving them in the hotel room by themselves even if they are like sleeping or something like i don't want to do that and we were so far away from the laundry um with our room we weren't exactly like close to it um so it's not like i could be anywhere near it basically um and like our nap times long story short it just it didn't work out 
Um, I, I'm over explaining, but I had all of our stuff in this little suitcase. So I'm, I'm honestly very impressed with this. Um, and then one thing I will do before I pack their suitcases away is toss in a dryer sheet that just keeps the suitcase kind of smelling nice, nice and fresh. Um, so if you're unpacking with me or you're going to be unpacking soon, just kind of file that tip away. That way you can have a nice smelling suitcase when you open it back up for your next trip. And then coming over here, um, let's see, we have charging pack. Um, I think all of our clothes we wore with the exception of one pair of jeans of mine I took a secondary pair of jeans and I think that's one thing that I wish I would have done differently is maybe instead of doing that packed a pair of bike shorts to have worn instead so that on that like a little bit warmer day I could have wore that and then layered on with a sweatshirt and then once it got warm it would have maybe felt a little bit more comfortable having those but the weather was supposed to like it was staying so cold and I didn't listen to my own advice and I didn't pack in a pair of shorts and I showed up so next time that's what I'm doing differently Differently. have a little blanket in here our rain gear which we used multiple times on the trip um, this little sling always always love this thing um, and then some little coloring tablets we use these used the changing pad um, I took an extra magic band this is one of Lucy's Bella thinks that she needs a magic band so I took one for her to wear she wore that and she's not duped by like a slap bracelet or something that's different she's like no that's not a magic band girl knows and so i i know some people they're like i can fool my kid and like let the younger one have this it's like no i'm I, I feel like i'm screwed when she gets older because she's already too smart for me and so she's like nope i know there is a difference between mine and sissy's and i want one like sissy's um we didn't use our water shoes because we didn't end up going to um like journey of water or anything like that we didn't have time for those things um so that's one thing that we didn't use and i could have left at home left out of the diaper bag but it was one of those I would have rather to be prepared, especially if they we had time and they wanted to go, I would rather be prepared. So even, I don't know, even knowing that, I probably still would have packed them. Um, our mealtime bags worked out great. I need to wash bibs and straws and things and restock these for the next trip. So our cooler bag, I didn't actually use this one this trip they ate a lot of like quick service meals and things um so we didn't do like packing their lunch or anything and we really didn't pack other than like some snack bars i didn't pack a ton of snacks um for eating out we had some apples in the room and bananas and then i also had some shelf stable yogurt pouches which we had in the room um but other than that we didn't use end up using a lot of snacks it was all so crazy last minute i was going to do like more snacks and take lunches and do that sort of thing but it was just ended up being easier for them to eat and they actually ate really good at the restaurants that we went to um as long as there's like a spaghetti on the on the menu or there's a few different things that my girls like really like i know it's a solid bet and so thankfully i was able to eat at those restaurants so that just worked out so i ended up not using our cooler bag Let's see we did the scavenger hunt so the girls got these as the little prizes so they'll be using those our stroller blankets which were definitely used we'll have to wash those up uh let's see oh my new tote bag picked this up at starbucks thought it was super cute but i got that like i needed another bag but i got it so here we are um i probably need to wash that it got a little wet so it almost smells a little sour and then our stroller caddy which definitely used that i am team stroller caddy all the way and again i'm gonna kind of let these air out this one um, I think a couple of things may have been wet because it was really raining the day before we left. Um, and so I think a couple of things may have been damp in here. So I'm going to lay it out in the sunshine um, and let this kind of dry out. And then I'll put that um, dryer sheet in here as well. And then let's see, moving on to my personal item. We're just kind of rapid firing through these. I, I don't know if this is helpful or interesting or if most of you have clicked out of the video by now. We ended up not using the little splat mat. Um, we totally could have if we had eaten more on the hubgrass, but I ended up, I totally forgot it was in my bag to be perfectly honest. Um, but I will likely take it again because it's just, it's such a great, um, option. I have these little cubes or like pouches that we had gotten, I uh, gotten for the girls um, to use for their clothes. And I had unpacked all their clothes out of them throughout the week. And when it was time to come home, they had got these little, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this is 
like nudie dolls. I don't know what it is. Does, do your kids take their cl the clothes off of their Barbies and dolls? I don't I don't know what it is with kids and naked dolls. But they got the little doll set. Um, each one of them, they got a, one got an Anna, one got an Elsa. And so I packed all of their little things and all the pieces that go with it into these bags. That was their like one toy that they got on the trip. Um, my little wipes, diaper clutch, used this a ton for all of our diaper changes. Used these little bumpkin snack bags, filled them full of Cheerios. These were perfect. They also have a sandwich bag size. I don't see it in here at the moment. Um, but they have a sandwich bag size that comes with this. It's like a trio. And those are perfect. Like if you want to pack a lunch or you want to pack a sandwich, you can put it in there. It's reusable. So you can just kind of use it over and over again. That worked out. These were fantastic. See our backup clothes, which thankfully we didn't have to use. But again, I will always pack a backup set of clothes. Hands so. down. Some camera gear in this little pouch. Oh, the peanut butter cookie. I totally forgot I had this in here. The peanut butter cookie is from, oh, that's part muffin. There's like muffin in here, but it's the peanut butter cookie from <laughs> Confectionery in Main Street. It is a peanut butter cookie with chocolate um, frosting sauce kind of stuff on it. And then it has peanut butter M&Ms on it. That was delicious. I think one of you guys actually recommended getting that and they didn't have my peanut butter fudge this time. So I got this one instead not shabby at all loved that one our fairy lights from our window those were those are fun and i just took these little clips here to hang up the fairy lights they're like little suction cups and so they stuck to the windows and i could use the clamps to clamp those our passport from there my solar buddy which we totally used lucy's magic band my snack bag which still has a few snacks in it actually i need to go through and take out all the trash and things but we have a few snacks there uh let's see our hair ties totally used hairbrush and hair ties um these water doodle mats were a hit my girls absolutely love these both um like in our hotel room when they would just like chill and relax in there they love them on the plane so these this is awesome it just folds right out got the pen in there they can draw and it also has handles so you can like carry it around if you want to so love that these were great this is a newer find for me but they come and they make like a little tray so before our plane took off I actually set this up because you can't have your tray table down during takeoff or landing so I just made a little cup for this and then put their little dolls into this little tray and they were able to hold that in their lap and then once we took off it slides right on to the tray table and secures over the back with this velcro and that way they had a spot for snacks they had a spot for their tablet could lay in it they could play with their dolls in it and things weren't falling off the tray table so these were awesome and they're super flat they don't take up a lot of space you can roll them i love these things so stinking much and then you can also if you wanted to put it on you have a zipper pocket here that you could put like a tablet or ipad or whatever into and then they could watch sit in their chair and just watch it on the screen on the back of the tray table um so you could like fold up the tray table if that makes sense and then it would be hanging there and they could watch it so these were awesome uh some liquid iv still in here and then just more of those little clips headphones and tablets which were definitely used on our travel days another bag of cheerios this was perfect for the girls in their um for quiet time and playing in the room while i was getting ready or doing other things packing up for the next day um it was nice for them to just be able to relax instead of like throwing on the tv or doing something like that this took up no room it has two little water pens with it and they could just color their little hearts out there was one day lucy didn't nap and so she just did quiet time and i just laid this out on the bed that she was sleeping in because she wanted to sleep in the huey dewey louie bed so she ended up sleeping in that one instead i just laid it out on the bed and she was able to color and draw and do all kinds of stuff while bella was napping and it worked out perfectly so it is not huge it, again doesn't take up a lot of space so thin like this was a huge hit Let's see oh this is the sandwich size bag that i had with us so we have that one sunglasses <laughs> that are covered in muffin but i did use these those were nice oh uh, let's see and then the foam adapter for my tripod that's that uh and then last but not least suitcase so winter hat wore that definitely if you're going in january 
pack layers, pack things that you can easily add on. And then my toiletry bag, mine and the girls' toiletries in it. Love this bag so, so much. It's, it is awesome. And it holds so much more than you think. This is the medium size. If you get to looking at it, the little poke pop purses were a hit as always. Another one of those snack bags. Silicone straws were a huge help as always again. Um, oh, that's dirty. Did have a couple of dirty things in here that didn't fit in there. So eh, they've been on dirty clothes. I might as well wash them. Um, our stroller name tag. This is one thing we didn't use this time. I just, I didn't take the time to put it on the stroller. I had our, um, our stroller caddy and everything else decked out on there, but I just felt like I didn't want to put this on there this time. So, you know, how I felt this trip. And my packing cubes, love these because they hold their shape. You can set them in the drawer and then I was able to unzip it, use out of it this week, and then zipped it back up, put it in the suitcase, we're good to go. The rest of my empty packing cubes and um, pouches and things here. So those worked out great. Oh, my other new shirt. It's gonna show this. This is another haul piece was the fantasy land shirt and they have these for every land and like section um so if you're going soon you could definitely look for those super cute blanket which needs to be washed let's see more dirty clothes dirty clothes um hats and gloves that were 100 percent used our potty seat definitely got used oh my gosh we lost one of our mittens in Hollywood Studios and Lucy was so upset and so mad at herself. Um, so we we had a moment. Um, oh, and she also, we also lost her hat that looks like this. So we've put in a lost hat, like a claim. It's not expensive. It's like 10 or $12 on Amazon, but she felt so bad. Like she doesn't understand monetary value, but she does understand feeling bad about losing her glove and her hat. And so it was definitely a growing moment. Um, so we only have one of those coming back and then dirty socks and my diaper bag. Oh, and my clip. I couldn't remember where I put my clip. There it is. So I have, that's all I took. And for the most part, 95, nine, I don't know, probably 98% of it. Yeah, 98% of it we used. Um, the clothing worked out literally perfect. If we had to stay an extra day because of like the weather here at home and we couldn't fly home, I just would have had to wash clothes. Um, or used the backup pair of clothes that were in the diaper bag. Um, other than like that one pair of jeans that I didn't wear, but seriously, everything else we wore. So it worked out really, really nicely. Um, had just enough and I was really happy. The fact that I didn't have too much, I didn't have a lot of excess, um, just made it easier to navigate. And so I love having backups and things and like being extra prepared, but sometimes you're just too prepared and it just, your over preparation stresses you out, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I'm. that's how it went, that's how it worked. Uh, so this is kind of the aftermath of the trip. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed this, very, what I feel like is a very random video, but you know, it's after vacation post Disney. Um, if you did though, don't forget to click that thumbs up button that lets me know that you enjoyed the video and which ones that I should make more of or which ones maybe I should not make more of. So if you enjoyed it, don't forget to click that thumbs up button, red subscribe button if you're new and you haven't already. I would love to have you in my little Disney internet fam here, but I will see you guys right back here in the next one. Bye. Well, hello into the video club. Thank you for being here. Thanks for sticking around. You guys are like the best. Thank you for being here. Don't forget, if you're leaving me a comment, include a suitcase emoji in that comment so I can know you're part of the secret club. But thank you again for watching. Bye, you guys.